and clean up that mess, clean up myself, clean my shower. It was, it was gross. Make cookies and I'm processing two loaves of sourdough bread. I think I have earned a sit down. Plus my allergies are killing me. My eyes are burning on fire. Time to go have a break, a little stitching break. Adventures in sourdough today. So what we have here is, these little beauties are a whole grain sourdough batch. I, my neighbor gave me some fresh ground rye, spelt, and bran flakes. I've never used bran flakes. It, they're just real fine, real fine. I don't know, you can kind of see it in there, but I thought, okay, I'm gonna give that a try in this batch. And then this batch is just mostly white flour, unbleached organic white flour with a tiny bit of spelt. So I wanna see how that turns out. This is a lot lighter and fluffier. These beauties are a little heavier and thicker and denser, but I think they're gonna bake up nicely and I'll let you know how it goes. Cannot get this to go even. Start over. Move my chair. Hello and welcome. So happy you're here. We have some new people as part of our group and welcome to all of you. Welcome to those of you who have been here before and to those of you who are new. I'm so happy to have you here and a huge shout out thank you to my best friend Belinda for sending so many lovely viewers over here. I have heard from so many of you and it is, it just tickles me. I just get so tickled to hear from you. So thank you for that. And, um, where to start? I don't even know where to start. I just, I'm, I'm popping in because it's been a little bit and I do have some new people here. Oh, I should introduce myself to those of you who are new. My name is Abby and I live in a corner of Southeast Arizona in the wild west with my husband and our daughter. She's the last of four children. Three of my children are, have flown the nest and we have our a cute little doggy. Where's Remy? Remy! Boo boo! Right there. Can you see him? <laughs> He's like, what? He was taking a nap. Little Remy, who is still sporting a really bad haircut. Did I even tell you what happened? I didn't tell you. I didn't tell you what happened. I recorded it. I'm gonna show you what happened to Remy. Uh, I'll tell you about that in a minute. I'll write that down. Remy, Remy's story. He's our dog. Um, we named him after the cute little mouse on Ratatouille and turns out there's a lot of little girls named Remy that I did not even think about. I was just thinking about the Disney movie. And so when we tell people his name is Remy, they tell us what a beautiful little girl he is. <laughs> Cause I guess to a lot of people that's a girl's name, but he's a boy. And Remy's had a hard week this last week, two weeks. But anyway, I was introducing myself to the new people here. Um, this podcast, slash vlog. I don't even know what you would call it. I don't know the difference between a vlog and a podcast other than people who podcast talk about things and people who vlog like to show you things. And I do both. I show you all the things we get up to over here. I show you things that I'm crafting, crochet, um, embroidery, sewing, baking, cooking, dinners. What else do I do? Whatever it is I get up to. I've been taking a little painting class with a wonderful, talented art teacher lately. So I've been doing clips of my art class and really random things. Just It's just so fun to have a little peek into the lives 
of others in the crafting community. There are so many wonderful channels that I follow. I just get the biggest kick out of seeing what other people are making, what they cook for their families, what they get up to. I That's kind of how I entertain myself. So this is just my little corner of the world if anyone's ever interested in seeing what we do over here. No, we're, we're not really fascinating people. We're pretty boring, but we like to have fun. So we have a good time. Oh, okay. So I have, I have, I have a funny, you know, DIY for you. Long story short, my groomer, my dog groomer was not grooming my dog the way he needed to be groomed. I'm not real happy with them. So I'm leaving my groomers. I'm in search of a new dog groomer. But in the meantime, I thought, okay, he was so overgrown. He has hair. So his hair grows and he has to be given a haircut regularly. And I kept telling my groomer every four weeks, he has to have a haircut every four weeks because he gets matted under his armpits, kind of like we do when we wear sweaters. He gets matted and under his ears where his collar is. And once that area gets matted, you have to shave it. It like gets all the way to the skin. And I brush him religiously. I brush him. I try to keep him combed. But if his hair gets too long, he'll get matted. And so I was having a conversation with the groomer and she charges me a lot of money to get the mats out of his hair. And so I was telling her, but okay, but you're not cutting him. You're not cutting his hair. So he's getting matted. And then you're charging me extra for the haircut. I'm just going to do it myself. And then I'm going to find someone else. So that's what happened. Here is, here is a little bit of what happened. Okay. So <laughs> I am trying stop laughing. I can't stop laughing because I'm trying to cut his hair and uh, <laughs> it's not going well. First of all, mad props to groomers. <laughs> <Come here. laughs> He's so patchy. Hey, Remy, buddy. I had to go get him a treat so that I could keep going, but this is, I'm laughing so hard that I have tears running down my face. This whole time I keep taking chunks <laughs> keep taking chunks out okay you guys have to see this one back here. <laughs> come here come here buddy come here okay we got we got we got this side we got a patch here that's a little too close to the skin and that right there. <laughs> I can't even look at this dog poor thing it's a good thing like maybe he won't know that he looks silly, but this is fun. <laughs> so he got a little feisty on me right there. <gasps> I can't stop laughing. <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh, this poor dog. Look, he's got a lot of hair off of him now. I just gotta fix up a little, blend it in a little bit. Good boy, buddy. My daughter stole the couch cushion. Good boy! You did! You did good! You did! Come here, buddy! I was dying. I was dying laughing so hard. I didn't mean to, and I the animal was not injured. He's okay. You okay, buddy? Mimi? Buddy? Sometimes he talks to me, sometimes he's not talking to me. Right now, I think he's still a little bit embarrassed about his haircut. <laughs> Add dog grooming to my resume. Oh. oh, well, okay. So we just finished spring break here. We took our daughter to Disneyland. So fun. Um, She's the last one and she, the last time we took her, she was three years old and she didn't, she doesn't remember it, which is kind of sad. We took our older kids and they remember it, but we kind of knew she probably wouldn't remember and we would just take her at another time. So that is what we did. We had a blast. We did the park hopper where we could go back and forth. 
we stayed in a hotel nearby so we didn't we didn't stay on the property but we stayed close enough to where if we wanted to be done for the day we did but we we just had so much fun we we did everything we wanted to do except for the haunted mansion it was closed but i have some fun vlog footage for you at the end of this video if you're interested in seeing a, just a few clips of our adventures in disneyland um i tried not to be on my phone much i was just trying to enjoy the our time there so i only have a little bit but it was still fun i can't believe march is almost over this is insane i feel like we're in warp speed i'm looking forward to this week is holy week for us we do celebrate each day leading up to Easter Sunday. We just take a moment every day to read out of our scriptures and just remember our Savior. And we are Christians. We're very open Christians. Um, very, we're very religious and we honor him this week. And we'll probably have a simple Easter dinner, a simple church dinner, Easter Sunday. I usually have my parents over and then my son will be here and so not many there won't be very many people here and that's okay it'll just be really simple and I'm looking forward to that on our road trip I was able to finish my this January's floral embroidery and it was really nice working on that in the car I thought it was gonna be too bumpy but these flowers weren't super complicated to do and I mostly had to finish the French knots. So that's easy to do. I love that this, these hydrangeas have some green with the cream. I don't know if it's focusing, but anyway, really pretty. I don't know what I'm going to do with all these, but I will have 12 of them this year. And I started... I started my nest. I just have branches. So because I live in the US, I'm getting them like a month late or I'm getting them behind everybody else, but that's okay. Um, I, f I feel like I'm keeping up. So this one looks quite simple. It doesn't look as uh, challenging as some of those flowers. So I started that and I've downloaded some new patterns oh real quick i i did a lot of work on this big girl in the car also i found that i wasn't really into road trip crochet as much as i wanted to be but this girl's coming along it's so soft and beautiful i'm adding i'm adding some width I'm gonna keep adding width and length until i get tired of it I still have this entire skein and I don't even know where it came from. Do I have a tag? I don't even know if I have a tag. Isn't this bag delicious? It's glittery. And I, oh no, that's not it. The white is Brava Sport Weight, but I don't know what it could be Biff Sugar yarns. I can't remember. Oh, here it is. Here it is. I'll tell you what it is. I don't even know if you can get it. It is Biff Sugar. Biff Sugar yarns. And it is Love Boat. So, this right here. I've got it coming out everywhere. Love Boat, DK Weight. I have so many different fingering and DK weights. And so sometimes when I try to figure out projects, I'll have just enough of the DK or too much of the fingering. Anyway, that's my fault for getting both kinds of DK or end fingering. And I just have a huge collection of all of it. So this is working for this blanket and I Love it. The sport weight acrylic works really, really well with the hand dyed DK. I 
feel like they, they go hand in hand together from the We, we Crochet website. The Brava comes from We Crochet. Love this yarn a lot. Um, and so the new patterns I have ordered uh, are, I don't know, I just went on a pattern buying streak and they're, they're inexpensive and I love supporting crochet designers. So the first one I saw, I don't even, I think it was on Instagram, but it's the Winston blanket from wild little acorn. Isn't it beautiful? Uh, I loved the border on this blanket. So I, I want to make this, I've got some, I need to refill my blanket stash. And I think this is a really good neutral versatile pattern. I also got the crossed double crochet blanket from the loophole Fox. Um, and these were all on Etsy. I love this blanket, simple pattern. And again, I love supporting crochet designers. Also, also I have had this in my Pinterest spring things I want to make file. It's the floppy ears bunny bag. And I kind of want to make a few of these this week. Let's see if I can make this happen. <laughs> I have big dreams, but I think if I print the pattern and get it going, I might actually make it happen. I'm sure I could do this in a day. Just crank out a few of them because I have some friends that I'd like to give these to. And so that's on my list of things I want to do this week. And Brianna K designs. I love everything she does. She had posted this gorgeous hexagon beach summer dress cover up. And I ran over and grabbed that pattern. And then I went to We Crochet and bought like an aqua color of yarn that I wanted. So I've got the yarn coming and I've got this pattern ready to go. So that is something I want to work on before we go on our summer trips this year. So those are the things in the making. And oh, I dug this out. Perfect crochet t-shirt, Caitlin Bart Bartold. Look how beautiful that is. I need to go, I'm going to go through my stash and see what kind of cotton yarn I have, but that looks like it could work up quickly. And I would love to have that for this summer. So I have a lot of, um, things I want to do right now. Did I just overkill my to-do list? It's okay. It'll keep me busy. I'm never bored never bored. Also, I have to show you what my daughter gave me. She has been doing art and watercolor. She made this little postcard for me and she painted these strawberries. She wrote me a little note on the back, but, and put a little picture of herself, but I have had this on my nightstand and I had to show you this gorgeous painting that my daughter made. I luckily my girls and I think all of my kids, all four of my kids are very creative people. They're very artistic, creative people. So I just love seeing what they do and things that they create and come up with. I honestly don't know what kind of random vlog footage I have on my phone. So I'll try not to make this too long, but uh, there's just some fun things that have been going on around the house, vacation, and there's so many of you new here. Um, this is just going to be a fun, random, what's going on over here video. I hope you're doing well. I hope you're having a good spring. I hope you're finding lots of creative outlets and fun things to make and projects you're dreaming of and all the good things. I hope you have a beautiful Easter season and I'll talk to you soon. Bye. This is that multi-grain. I just washed my hands so they're kind of glistening, but this is the multi-grain sourdough. I really, really like it. It turned out really good. It's got kind of a nutty flavor. It didn't rise as high 
I think just because it's heavier, but it's so good. We are cleaning up our desert landscaping. It has gone a little wild. Look at all these babies. I don't know how to get the leaves out of that, but These here have been brought back to life. Our neighbor told us something we could do to help them and they have been brought back to life and they're gonna have little pink flowers coming soon. And then that's all coming back to life. up the rosemary. I wish you could smell my front yard right now. It smells so good. This rosemary has been here since we moved in and then we had to get these two here to replace a couple of dead plants but it is a different variety of rosemary. So it's got a longer, I wish I could remember the name but it's a little more lemony and this one it's just a little more woody, which I love. You hey, look at that little halo, little mountain halo. It's not super exciting, but I just love that we have a purple halo outside. 